Welcome to the Historic Newspaper Archive tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Chicago Tribune Historical Archives as an example. But Columbia College Chicago also subscribes to the New York Times and the Chicago Defender Historical Archives. Accessing, searching, and downloading articles works the same for all three resources. To access the Chicago Tribune Historical Archive, go to the library website at library.colum.edu. Click the link for databases below the search box. Click on the C and then scroll through the list to find the Chicago Tribune Historical Archive and click the link. If you are off campus, you'll need to enter your OASIS ID or Destiny ID and your last name with the first letter capitalized. For our example today, we're going to search for the Iroquois Theater Fire, so type that into the search box. We get over 1,500 results, so one strategy we can use to try to narrow down our results is to put quotation marks around the phrase Iroquois Theater Fire. When we use the quotation marks, we get just over 500 search results, which is about 1,000 fewer than our initial search. The results are displayed by relevance, so the first article on the list is from 1945. The Iroquois Theater Fire happened in 1903, so I'd like to see the articles in order with the oldest article first. I'm going to change the sort to oldest first and then click sort again. Now the first article will be from December 31st, 1903, the day after the fire, and will be listed in chronological order. I can select any articles I want to save by clicking in the checkbox next to the record. As I save articles, they'll be added to the selected items folder. I can click on the selected items link and email the articles to myself just choose the items you want emailed. Enter your email address and name and choose the citation style if you'd like citations included. Then click continue. There are a few ways to view articles within the Historic Archive databases and I want to highlight a few of those. From the results list page, you can click on the article title or the PDF link to view the full text of the article. Since this is an archival database, all of the articles are PDFs of the original newspaper and include all of the original formatting. You can also tab to the page view and see the article as it appeared in the full broadside page. You can zoom in and out to see the full page view. From this page, you can download the article, download the full page, cite, email, and print. You can also browse the entire issue, that day's entire newspaper, by clicking the Browse This Issue link. This gives you a clickable full page view of the newspaper from that day, and you can page through it, jump to the front page, click on an article, and more. I hope this gives you a helpful overview of the historical newspaper archives. If you have additional questions, please contact the library at library.colum.edu.